Uh, when um, President Clinton led off, left office in 2001, CBO projected 10 years of trillions of dollars of surpluses. When President Bush left office, CBO projected trillions and trillion dollars of deficits. Those deficits were the result of two factors. The first of the factors were the ones you referred to, a decision by the President and the Congress not to pay for two wars, very expensive tax cuts, and a very substantial expansion of Medicare. The deficits are also the product, though, of two recessions, a, a milder recession in the early part of President Bush's first term and a terribly severe recession that began in 2007. Now, a modest portion of our future deficits are the result of the policies we proposed. Somewhere between 10 and 15 percent of the projected deficits are the result of the factors of budget proposals we've made. Now, you're right that we would be in a much stronger position today. We would not face anything like the changes we face today on the tax side or the spending side if we had not made those choices as a country under the previous administration on fiscal policy. We took a remarkably strong fiscal position, and we gave we, – we uh, jeopardized future generations of Americans by eroding that, that – those huge gains on fiscal discipline, and absolutely that puts us in a weaker position today.